Curiosity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, the 2016-2017 University Challenge begins tonight as we meet the first two of the 28 teams who will be entertaining us over the coming months. They'll be drawn from all over the world, Salford to Sichuan, studying everything from the Vikings to new ways of X-raying cheese. They'll all be here to fight for the honour of their university or university college and for the right to call themselves series champions. Now, one of the original red bricks, Sheffield University, was founded by Edward VII and now has around 27,000 students. Among those who studied there are the novelist Lee Child and Hilary Mantel, the Olympian Jessica Ennis-Hill, the Nobel laureate Sir Harry Crotto and the politician David Blunkett, who now holds a professorship there. Scarcely less distinguished are the four who took Sheffield to the final match of our last Christmas series for alumni. Let's see if tonight's team of students with an average age of 23 can do as well, or maybe even better. Hi, I'm Amy Fideski, I'm from Solihull, and I'm studying history and politics. Hello, I'm Jack Lewis, I'm from Sheffield, and I'm studying biology. And here's their captain. Hello, I'm Edward Pemberton, I'm originally from Stroud in Gloucestershire, and I'm studying economics and politics. Hi, I'm Ben Cotton, I'm from Howarth, West Yorkshire, and I'm studying physics and astrophysics. Playing them, the University of Bristol. It received its royal charter in 1909 after endowments from the Wills and Fry families and now has around 21,000 students. Alumni include the writer and creator of The Gruffalo, Julia Donaldson, the performers Matt Lucas, David Williams and Simon Pegg, and the novelist David Nichols, who fictionalised his experiences there in the catchily titled novel Starter for Ten. Bristol crashed out of the last series in the first round. So, hoping to improve on that, and with an average age of 24, let's meet the Bristol team. Hi, I'm Joe Rolleston. I'm from Tamworth in Staffordshire, and I'm training to teach history. Hi, I'm Claire Jackson. I'm from Carsholton in south-west London, and I'm studying for an MSI in paleontology and evolution. And their captain? Hi, I'm Alice Clark. I'm from Oxford, and I study medicine. Hi, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm from Hinckley in Leicestershire, and I'm doing a PhD in organic chemistry. Well, you all know the rules. I'll just remind you of the significant danger that if you interrupt a starter question incorrectly, you lose five points automatically. So, fingers on the buzzers, here's your first start of a ten. Meanings of what four-letter word include the excrement of an earthworm, a rigid casing immobilising a broken ah, bone... Bristol Jackson. Cast. Cast is correct, yes. <laughs> you get the first bonuses, Bristol. They're on novels. Dorothy Hare is the title character of which early novel by George Orwell, first published in 1935? The Clergyman's Daughter. The Clergyman's Daughter? A Clergyman's Daughter is correct. What business had she, a renegade clergyman's daughter, to turn up her nose at you? In which novel of 1855 does Mrs Thornton speak those words, referring to Margaret Hale? Is it Hardy? I don't see the names of Hale. Mayor, Car Mayor Casterbridge? What's here? Mayor Casterbridge? No, it's North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. And finally, what vile creatures her parsons are. These words of the theologian John Henry Newman refer to the novels of which clergyman's daughter who was born in 1775? Austin. Austin. Jane Austen. Correct. Right, ten points for the start of question. This fool wishes to reverse the entire science of astronomy. But sacred scripture tells us that Joshua commanded the sun to stand still and... Bristol Tomset. Galileo. I'm afraid you lose five points. Commanded the sun to stand still and not the earth. These words of Martin Luther refer to which astronomer born in Toron... In... Sheffield Lewis. Copernicus. Copernicus is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on life sciences, Sheffield. From the Greek for turning, what seven-letter term denotes the response or orientation of a plant or lower animal to an environmental stimulus? Trophism? Uh, trophism? No, it's tropism. Secondly, the taproot systems of carrots and beets grow vertically downward and are positive examples of what form of tropism? 
say to water, so would you say like hydrogen? Hydrophilic. Hydrophilic, maybe? Hydrophilic. Hydrophilic? No, it's geotropism. And finally, geotropism can mask another form of tropism, that of directed growth in response to water or moisture gradients. What name is given to that form of tropism? Hydrotropism? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Demoiselle, Wattle, Hooping, Red Crown ah, and White... Bristol Rolleston. Turkey. No, I'm afraid you lose that. five points. And White Naped are among the species of which long-legged wading bird of the family Gruidae? It's a favourite subject of Japanese origami. Sheffield Fedeski. Flamingo. No, it's a crane. Ten points for this. From the title of a novel by Charles Dudley Warner and Mark Twain, what term reflects a time of rapid corporate expansion, urban growth and social... Sheffield Cotton. The Gilded Age. Correct. <laughs> so you get a set of bonuses on the study of community. Firstly, for five points, in 1916, the US social reformer L.J. Hanifan popularised what two-word term to describe intangibles such as goodwill, fellowship and sympathy? Is it social capital, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Social capital? Correct. The political scientist Robert D. Putnam described the decay of social capital in US society in an essay of 1995. Its title referring to what recreational activity being conducted alone? Uh, bowling. Correct, Tempin Bowling. In 1996, Putnam established a seminar initiative at Harvard named after which cactus, native to Arizona, California and North Mexico, on the basis that both, quote, take a long time to develop and then serve lots of unexpected purposes? Uh, the jo Joshua Tree? Um, Joshua Tree, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Joshua Tree? No, it's Saguaro. Ten points for this. Often used colloquially as a term of affection or approbation, what term is formed by concatenating the chemical symbols of the alkaline earth metals that appear in the periodic table below strontium and above magnesium? Bristol Jackson. Babe. Babe is correct, yes. It's barium and beryllium, of course. Well done. Took a while, but you got there. Your bonuses are on icebergs, Bristol. What name is given to the process by which large pieces of ice become detached from glaciers or ice shelves to form icebergs? Carving. 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 Carving is correct. Often formed from larger icebergs, what two-word term denotes smaller ice pieces still visible on the surface of the sea? They're usually between one and five metres high. Well, the ice flow. Yeah. Yeah. Ice flow? No, they're called bergy bits, apparently. <laughs> and finally, what name is given to even smaller iceberg remnants that are usually less than a metre high and are often almost completely submerged below the surface of the sea? They share their name with that of the village constable in the Rupert the Bear stories. Yeah. What is he called? No idea. No idea. <laughs> Pass. They're growlers. We're going to take a picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see a map of London showing the locations of the London underground stations of a particular line. Ten points if you can identify the line. Bristol Tomset. Jubilee line. It is the Jubilee line, yes. <laughs> so for your picture bonuses, you're going to see the locations of the stations of three more London underground lines. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly... Victoria Line. That's right. Secondly? It's central, isn't it? It's not the central, because the central goes out of London. Mm. Uh, that's uh, Hammersmith and City. Hammersmith and City. Correct. And finally? <laughs> the Circle. It is the Circle Line. <laughs> it's a bit of a giveaway, right? Right, you've taken the lead, and another starter question now for ten points. In humans, what is the largest of the three pairs of major glands producing saliva? Its serous secretions are transported to the oral cavity by Stenson's ah. duct. Bristol Clark. Submandibular? No, I'm afraid you lose five points, which opens in the rear of the mouth cavity near the second 
upper molar. The parotid gland. Ten points for this. The Organisation of African Unity, now superseded by the African Union, was founded in 1963 in which capital, one of Africa's most populous cities, its country has been landlocked since 1993? Sheffield Lewis. Kinshasa. Anyone like to buzz from Bristol? Uh, Bristol Tomset. Kampala. No, it's Addis Ababa. Ten points for this. Probably alluding to a work by Thomas More, what term did John Stuart Mill coin in 1868 in a denunciation of the British government's Irish land policy? It has come to be associated with fiction by writers including Anthony Burgess, Aldous Huxley and George Orwell. Bristol Tomset. Dystopia. Dystopia is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Bristol, are on eclectic architecture. Firstly, designed by Joseph Pollett in the late 19th century in a style variously described as eclectic and neoclassical and Assyro-Babylonian, the Palais de Justice is a noted landmark in which European capital? Brussels. Brussels is correct. Rococo stroke late Baroque in design with eclectic elements of Art Deco and Egyptian revival with ivory, jade and caramel coloured marble throughout. These words appear in the Wikipedia entry for which shopping centre, the UK's second largest by retail size. It opened in 1998. Is that going to the Trafford Centre? Trafford Centre's got that style to it. Yeah, we're going to go Trafford Centre. The Trafford Centre? It is the Trafford Centre, it's just outside there. <laughs> Often cited as an example of eclectic architecture, which basilica in Barcelona has remained unfinished since the death of its architect in 1926? The Sagrada Familia. Correct. And points for this. Fingers on the buzzers. A mahogany tree and two woodcutters appear on the national flag of which country of the mainland Americas? A little larger than Wales. Uh, Bristol Tomset. Belize. Belize is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on John Dryden, Bristol. Dryden's 1667 poem, Annus Mirabilis, celebrates the recovery from the Great Fire of London and victories over the naval forces of which country? Netherlands. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, the Netherlands. Correct. Which 1672 comedy by Dryden shares its name with a series of pictures by William Hogarth depicting a disastrous marital relationship? Is that not The Rake's Progress? Progress. The Rake's Progress. No, it's Mariage à la mode. Oh, okay. oh, sorry. And finally, Dryden's tragedy, All for Love, is based on which of Shakespeare's plays named after its hero and heroine? Both are historical figures. Antony and Cleopatra. Correct. Another starter question. With the help of unremitting labour, you shall receive Mozart's spirit from Haydn's hands. These words appear in an album of the early 1790s dedicated to which composer, born in Bonn in 1770? Sheffield Pemberton. Uh, Ludwig van Beethoven. Correct. So you get a set of bonuses, Sheffield. And they're on words made by adding a single letter to the end of a scientific term. For example, plane and planet. In each case, give both words from the definitions. Firstly, an element obtained from magnetite or hematite and a literary device that can be dramatic or situational. Iron and irony. Correct. Secondly, in the plural geological subdivisions such as the Cenozoic and the Mesozoic and to obliterate from the mind or memory. Yeah. Eras and arrays. Correct. And finally, the SI unit of electrical potential and a major river of West Africa. Volt and Volta. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Time for a music round. We're going to hear a music starter. You'll hear an excerpt from a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can identify the band playing. Sheffield Fedeski. The Sex Pistols. It is the Sex Pistols, yes. <laughs> On the 4th of June 1976, the Sex Pistols played at Manchester's Lesser Free Trade Hall, a performance that has since taken on an almost mythical status as a catalyst for Manchester's punk and post-punk music scene. For your music bonuses, you're going to hear songs by three bands, some of whose members say that they were at that gig. <laughs> Five points for each band you can identify. Firstly... The 
Mr. Buzzcox. Correct. Secondly. <laughs> the fall. That's correct. And finally. Joy Division. That's right. Well done. Ten points for this. <laughs> Calcareous and silicious are subtypes of what deep sea deposit composed of soft mud and fragments of microorganisms? In everyday speech, the same word is used to denote the slow, gradual seeping of a fluid. Bristol Jackson. Ooze. Ooze is right, yes. Your bonuses, Bristol, are on rivers of France. Which tributary of the Garonne shares its name with a figure in the Book of Genesis whose wife is turned into a pillar of salt? Lot. Lot. Correct. Which tributary of the Seine has a name that is also the French for dawn or daybreak? We don't know. It's Aube. And finally, the city of Angers is on which tributary of the Loire? It shares its name with the former region of Massachusetts that attained statehood in 1820. Oh, uh, that could be Rhode, as in Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah, OK, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. Rhode? No, it's Maine. Oh. Maine. Ten points for this. Kanchenjunga's main peak is the highest point in which country? More than 8,500 metres in height, it is the world's third highest mountain. Bristol Jackson. India. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on essential amino acids. Found in almost all proteins and the simplest of the amino acids, aminoethanoic acid is otherwise known by what name? Glycine. Correct. Which hydroxylic essential amino acid differs from serine by having a methyl substituent in place of one of the hydrogens on the beta carbon? Threonine. Yeah. Threonine. Correct. Which aliphatic essential amino acid differs from threonine by replacement of the hydroxyl group with a methyl substituent? Valine. Valine. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> on the, buzzers. the provisions of Oxford was a plan of reform during the reign of which English king? Bristol Rolleston. Henry III. Henry III is right. <laughs> These bonuses are on the British screenwriters Frank Launder and Sidney Gilliatt. Launder and Gilliatt wrote the screenplay for which 1938 film directed by Alfred Hitchcock and starring Margaret Lockwood? Birds? No, it's The Lady Vanishes. Secondly, in 1940, Laundra and Gilliatt wrote the screenplay for Night Train to Munich, also starring Margaret Lockwood, and made by which director, whose other films include The Stars Look Down and The Third Man? Uh, that's Orson Welles. Orson Welles. Yeah. Yeah. Orson Welles. No, it wasn't. It was Carol Reed. Oh, no, she's in it. Sorry. From the <laughs> early 1950s, Laundra and Gilliatt worked on a series of films about which fictional girls' school created by Ronald Searle? St. Trinians. Yes. Ten points for this. Which US sociologist gives his name to a ten-item scale developed during the 19... Bristol Clark. Maslow. Now you lose five points. Developed during the 1960s that acts as a self-report instrument for evaluating self-esteem. Any of you going to buzz from Sheffield? No, it's Boris Rosenberg. Ten points for this. What Greek-derived term is applied to diseases that are habitually present in a certain locality? Sheffield Fideski. Endemic. Endemic is right. <laughs> Get these bonuses, you go past the 100. They're on Islamic history. Firstly, ruled by the first four successors of the Prophet Muhammad, the Rashidun Caliphate was established during which century of the Common Era? Maybe. 
9th century? No, it's the 7th century. Which dynasty overthrew the Rashidun Caliphate in 661? Its armies later conquered much of northwestern Africa, Spain and Central Asia. Uh, nominate Cotton. Umayyad? Correct. The Abbasid dynasty overthrew the Umayyad Caliphate in 750 and established its capital at which city in the Middle East? Damascus. No, it's Baghdad. We're going to take a picture round again now. For your picture start, you will see a photograph of an English cathedral. Ten points if you can tell me the city in which you would find this cathedral. Bristol Tomset. Liverpool. It is the Anglican Cathedral in Liverpool. You're right. <laughs> the Gothic Revival Cathedral there was one of the earliest designs of the architect Giles Gilbert Scott, commissioned in 1903 when he was just 22. Your picture bonuses show three more of Scott's notable works, five points for each you can identify. Firstly, which of the Thames bridges is this? Is that, is that one just London Bridge? Okay. Yeah, it's quite a boring it. bridge. I, mean, I think it is London Bridge. London Bridge? No, it's Waterloo Bridge. <laughs> Secondly, this building is part of which university? Cambridge. Yeah. Cambridge. Yes, the university library there. And finally... Oh, that, isn't that the, is that the Tate Modern? The Tate Modern. You're quite right, it is Tate Modern. <laughs> I think I passed over originally, but yes, I think. Right, ten points for this. The other side of appearance is a phrase associated with which artist and sculptor born in London in 1950. His works include Another Place and Event Horizon. Sheffield Pemberton. Anthony Gormley. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on human anatomy, Sheffield. What is the Latin name for the shoulder blade? Scapula. Correct. Which bone articulates with the glenoid cavity of the scapula? Um, tibia? No, it's the humerus. Which bone articulates with the trochlea of the humerus? Ulmer? Correct. Ten points for this. During the early Roman Empire, in which European peninsula did Baetica, Tarraconensis and Lusitania become... Sheffield Cotton. Iberia. Iberia is right. <laughs> These bonuses are on an opera. There's only just over four minutes to go. In each case, name the French composer whose works include the following. First, The Fair Maid of Perth, Ivan IV and Don Procopio. Uh, pass. That's Bizet. Second, Christopher Colomb, Bolivar, and La Mer Coupable. French, Debussy. Uh, Debussy. That's Darius Mio. And finally, uh, Benvenuto Cellini, Beatrice, and Benedict, and Les Troyennes. Debussy. Say it again. Debussy. No, that's Berlioz. Ten points for this. The chromoprotein rhodopsin is found in which ah. organ? Bristol Tomset. The eye. The eye is correct. You get a set of bonuses this time. On an Australian cricket ground, in which city is the test cricket ground known by the acronym WACA, W-A-C-A? Perth. Perth is correct. Which Australian fast bowler has taken the most test wickets at the WACA? He made his test debut there in 1993. Either Brett Glenn Lee McGraw. or Glenn McGrath? Glenn McGrath. Yeah. Nominate Jackson. Glenn McGrath. Glenn McGrath is correct. Which Australian captain has made the most test runs at the WACA? He retired in 2012. Nominate Jackson. Ricky Ponting. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Sir Thomas Brown is generally credited with coining what word in 1646 to describe a fundamental form of energy that results from the interaction of charged particles? Bristol Rolleston. Force. Anyone like to buzz from Sheffield quickly? Sheffield Cotton. Potential. No, it's electricity. Ten points for this. Slightly larger than Norfolk, Lake Vainan is the largest freshwater lake in the European Union and is located in the west of which country? Sheffield Cotton. Norway. No. Bristol. Bristol Rolleston. Finland. No, it's Sweden. 
Ten points for this starter question. Variants of what five-letter name link a novel of 1845 by Benjamin Disraeli, Aeneas's Guide in the Underworld, and Dorian Gray's ill-fated lover in the novel by... Crystal Oscar... Clark. Sybil. Sybil is correct, but next time you buzz, you must answer straight away, OK? Your bonuses are on philosophy in the early 20th century. Positing a direct dialogue between the individual and God, the 1923 essay, I and Thou, is a work by which German philosopher? I, I think we need an answer, please. We don't know. It's Martin Buber. In the 1907 work, Creative Evolution, which French philosopher put forward the principle of élan vital, or the vital impulse? He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1927. We need an answer. We don't know. That's Bergson. And finally, Bertrand Russell and Alfred North Whitehead sought to formalise mathematical logic in which three-volume work completed in 1913? Principia. I don't know. I don't know. I think that one is a Principia. Is it Principia? Do you know that one? Go with Principia. Principia. Specifically? Math mathematica Mathematica. Philosophic. No, that's. <laughs> Let's have it quick. Yeah. No, Nominate uh, Rolleston. Tartus Mathematicus. No, it's Principia Mathematica. Sorry. That's not precise <laughs> enough. Right, ten points for this. The Medina of Seuss and the archaeological site of Carthage are among the World Heritage Sites ah, in which. Bristol Rolleston. Tunisia. Correct. <laughs> Your bonus is on words from the Nahuatl or Aztec language. In each case, give the English word from the definition. Firstly, an alcoholic drink distilled from the fermented sap of an agave plant of the Oaxaca region. Tequila. Tequila. Yeah. Tequila. Mm. No, it's mezcal. Oh. Secondly, salvia hispanica, a food grain rich in omega-3 fatty acids. That's uh, yeah. avocado, isn't it? Is it, is it no, oh, grain. 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 Quinoa. No, it's chia. Mm -hmm. And lastly, Canis latrans, a New World carnival, also known as the prairie wolf. Coyote. Yeah, coyote. Coyote is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Who wrote the play Left-Handed Liberty, commissioned in 1965 to mark the 750th anniversary of the Magna Carta? His other works include Armstrong's Last Good Night and Sergeant Musgrave's Dance. Sheffield Colton. Harold Pinter. No, it's John Arden. <laughs> And that was on Sheffield had 130, Bristol University had 210. Well, you never really seemed to get into your stride, Sheffield, did you? I don't know why. Maybe the questions just didn't fall right. Sometimes it's like that. Anyway, congratulations to you, Bristol. That's a terrific score, 210. We should look forward to seeing you in round two. Thank you for joining us. I hope you can be with us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Sheffield University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Bristol University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Thank you.